Hello, my favorite artists. It's good to see you guys. Um, today we are going to do a project for Easter. We're getting ready to celebrate Easter this week. Um, so I want you guys thinking about what some symbols of Easter are. And I have a couple here to show you, to show you our process we're going to do. Um, we're going to do marker printing. Some of you guys have done that before. Some of you have not. And so uh, I'm going to show you what we need to do to get started with our project. The first thing that you need to do is you need to color a sheet of aluminum foil with washable markers. And these are some examples of washable markers right here. Um, Mr. Sketch is a good brand as long as they're washable. Um, Crayola Washables is an excellent one to use. Probably you have some washable markers around your house. These are just some ordinary ones and skinny ones work fine. The thick ones work really good too. You need to color and it's best when you color your sheet of aluminum foil and this is just probably some that your mom has around the house and you can reuse the same sheet. Wipe it off and reuse it. But uh, just color it nice rainbow colors. That works the best, and that way the colors don't get muddy because we're going to spray them with a little bit of water in a minute, and when they start to run together, if they're not in rainbow order, they can get a little bit muddy. But even if they do, you can still have some beautiful art. That's okay. Um, this sheet's done with wider stripes. This sheet is done with narrower stripes, so we're going to see how those two things work together. After you've got your uh, tin foil colored, you're gonna set that aside for a few moments. We'll do that. Then you're gonna make an Easter design. I just have an egg shape here. You can just draw a nice oval and you can decorate this egg any way you want to. We all know that Easter eggs are a sign of new life, the new life that Jesus gives to us. So uh, be thinking about that this week while you're doing your art project. Um, and make some beautiful art to remind us that Jesus is our Savior. All right, here we go. So I'm just going to take my egg and kind of divide it into sections. You can make yours any way that you want to. I'm just dividing into some simple design sections. I think I might put polka dots down here in this one. Just some simple circles to make those polka dots. I think up here I might do some hearts. I think some zigzag lines always kind of make Easter eggs look interesting. Maybe a double zigzag line. Mine aren't perfect and it's okay. Maybe a curved line to show that the egg has form. And bring it across like that. And I think I'm happy with that. So now, if you hold on just for a second, for the next part, you need a spray bottle with some water in it, and that's just water. There's nothing added in there, um, and you're going to get your surface ready. It needs to be a surface that will not bother if you spray. We don't want your uh, water to get on something it shouldn't, so be sure that it is a safe surface to spray on. Check with your mom or dad or grandma, whoever you're with doing your art project. Take your spray bottle. You're going to spray the aluminum foil, and that's gonna wake up that marker ink and make it start to run together a little bit. Give it a good spray. Then you're gonna take your piece of paper with your drawing on it, and you're gonna take it and put it face down, and then you're gonna massage that piece of paper. And what that does is it makes that ink wake up and jump onto your Easter egg drawing. Now, the black lines that I made with the black Sharpie for my Easter egg will not run because they are a permanent marker. It's not water soluble. 
So that's what's keeping those lines from running. And you can see my colors jumping on there. And the more I massage it, the more the colors jump onto the paper. Then when you're ready and you transfer it as much as you think you can, you slowly and carefully peel that up. And you have your rainbow tie-dyed Easter drawing. Now let's set this one aside and let's do our next one that had the thinner lines and see how that one's going to work. And this is a drawing that I did earlier. That's another Easter symbol drawing, but you can do any kind of drawing that you want for Easter. It's also done with the permanent black Sharpie marker so that it won't run. We're gonna bring this piece of foil over here. Wake up with the water just like we did before. Make sure you get it all. Again, you're gonna lay it face down Massage. And that's a little different texture of paper so the marker isn't jumping through quite as much. When you're finished, peel it. And there you go. Another beautiful tie-dyed Easter project. I hope you get to do this project. I hope that it's fun, and I hope that you have a wonderful Easter.